He had 60 guns in his Montgomery County home and a history of felony charges for domestic violence and gun possession and drug violations. Even so, a man named Christopher Snyder remained licensed by the federal government to own, buy and sell weapons, including machine guns and silencers. He went on to murder yeah. three people in a neighbor's home in Brookville last week. And this evening, we're asking how Chris Snyder was able to keep that firearms dealer's license. Scott Broom is here to talk about what we've learned. Scott? The tragedy here just a week ago, despite his troubled background, Christopher Snyder, who lived in this house here, and all those warning signs, despite all of that, those records were expunged from state court records. And even if they had not been erased, it is not likely the federal government would have suspended Chris Snyder's federal firearms license. In 2014, Christopher Snyder, who claimed a shadowy background in security special operations, was accused by Montgomery County Police of holding a pistol to his wife's head, threatening murder-suicide, according to new reporting from the Washington Post. But the case was dropped when she refused to testify, and Snyder kept his federal firearms dealer's license. Later, Snyder convinced courts to expunge any public record of the alarming episode. Records of his 2017 divorce and other gun and drug charges were also sealed or expunged at Snyder's request. With no felony on his record, his federal firearms license stayed intact despite the alarming warning signs. When he went on to murder three people in a neighbor's home May 7th, after his new wife fled to the house for help, police said Snyder had a virtual arsenal in his home. He killed himself after a standoff with police. Even if Snyder's criminal problems remained in the record, he would have been under no obligation to report his alarming domestic violence problems to the U.S. Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms, which renews federal firearms dealers' licenses every three years. That's because Snyder was never convicted. Meanwhile, the ATF has been criticized for weak enforcement. A 2016 analysis of ATF records by PolitiFact found that less than 1% of non-compliant firearms dealers ended up getting their licenses revoked. Now, on this subject, Maryland's courts have just been given brand new authority to order the temporary seizure of guns from individuals who display alarming behavior. Even if they have not been convicted of a felony, it is called the, uh, check that, it's called the red flag law. It's new to me, should be new to you. Governor Hogan here in Maryland just signed it. Reporting live in Brookville, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Yeah, new to us, but here's a little bit more about it, Scott, because gun rights advocates warn that red flag law can be abused by people making false claims to get someone's guns taken away.